What up guys? Welcome back to part four of customizing your plate style. Today we're gonna be doing assault, basically, and this is about getting in and kicking ass and taking names. In this series, this is for new players to give you juicy, juicy ideas about how to customize your play style and find out what works for you. Give you basically some of the best perks, best skills, best guns, what the damage does, and all kinds of stuff to get you started in your life in factions. In our first tutorial, I covered stealth. I covered the Apache Warrior and the Joker loadout. And then in my second tutorial, I covered medic classes with the Shotgun Surgeon. And then in my third tutorial, I covered the Hunting Rifle with Recon classes, basically what I call the Spy Satellite. But today... Like I said, it's all about kicking ass and taking names. And today we're doing frontline. We're doing assault. You're going to get in there. You're going to get to the front of the action. You're going to be dead. gunning people down. And these are the loadouts that work for you. I got one called the Force Gump. And then the last one, which is what I'm calling the All Pro, which is like a conglomeration of the different skills we talked about in the tutorial, basically. So we're going to get to the stuff that's all about being Rambo which is what most of you new players want to do anyway. So let's have some fun. That's one. So this first loadout, the Forrest Gump, because I love you, Jenny. The Forrest Gump, basically, we're going to go sidearm. We're going to go with the shorty, which is one loadout point. And what it is, it is up close and personal. It's like basically a sawed-off shotgun. It's two shots to down, depending highly on range. You have to be very mindful of that. I personally like the pop and drop where you just pop out behind the cover and take your enemy down. So the shorty is ideal for this up close and personal assault class. Now, for our second gun, we're going to go with my personal favorite. You could use the full auto, but let's go with the burst rifle because the burst rifle has been my favorite class. Heck, I loved it before it was popular and now everybody uses it. It is two bursts to down or one burst with multiple headshots. Essentially, it shoots a three round burst and each shot does 20 damage. So you need five body shots or two headshots to down somebody. If you can master headshots with this gun, you will be an extremely dangerous player, which is what makes it so popular. It's great up close. It's great at medium range, and it's even pretty damn good at long range if you know how to use it. It does take a little bit of skill, a little bit of getting used to. Basically, what you want to do is kind of want to aim for the chest or basically the chest and allow it to kick up into the headshot. But once you get good at the burst rifle, it is a beast of gun and extremely popular and competitive play. So for this, the Force Gump and all of our assault classes, I'll be using the burst rifle. Now, skills. I'm giving you the most popular or second most popular skill definitely in competitive play and that has got to be sharpshooter. At level one basically it just kind of reduces your scope sway about 25% and reduces your damage wobble. It's actually pretty good for learning the bow or the hunting rifle. At level two it reduces it just a little bit more. but. At level three, what Sharpshooter does is not only does it reduce your scope's weight by 50%, it reduces your damage wobble by 65%, allowing you to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with people, and you get 25 health back for each headshot. This is going to allow you to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with somebody, and your shots will land, and their shots won't. Not only that, you're getting health back for your headshots, especially with this first rifle, which is what you should be getting to take people down with. You're getting health back. And that's going to allow you to take on more than, enemy, more than one enemy at once. And what makes it absolutely perfect for a frontline assault class. For number two perk, we're going to go with Brawler. It's about getting in there and punching people in the face. At uh, level one, you can craft your stick in half the time and you get a few health back for every hit that you do. But at level two, you get more than one melee stick. So once you upgrade your melee stick, you'll get two one hit downs out of it. And that makes you extremely, extremely dangerous up close and personal. Not only that, 
you can run in there basically get your punches off and you're getting health back for every single one of your punches giving you a better chance to survive those confrontations try some smoke now for our third perk, we're gonna go with, because we have to, we're gonna go with Marathon Runner because this is the Forrest Gump loadout after all, right? I just kept running and running and running and I just ran and ran and just kept on running because I love Jenna. Now, what, <laughs> now what, how was that? Was that good? Now, no, what Marathon Runner will do is it allow you to regenerate your run meter faster and run farther. Now, I know I say don't run, but here's an ideal situation to run. I'd love to heal this guy. I'd love to revive him, but I've got two enemies coming up to my left and one on my right. So for me, best thing to do is bail out of there. It's the best thing for me and it's the best thing for the team and I will live to fight another day. And that is a very important lesson to learn in this game, when to run. Now, for our last perk, we're gonna use a DLC perk called Fortitude. What Fortitude allows you to do is once you are revived, you come back with more health. You also bleed out much slower. And most importantly, it increases your crawling speed so that you can crawl to cover and get away faster, which is extremely important. Now. You need to be mindful that this skill is not something to be used in interrogation mode. It's ideal for supply raid or survivors where you want to stay alive and your numbers matter. But in interrogation mode, the last thing you want to do is bleed out longer. Because by bleeding out and dying faster, it reduces the chance for the enemy to get in and interrogate you. So this is not a skill that you want to use in interrogation mode. But in supply raid, it's absolutely ideal and it just might save your life. Come on now, keep breathing, I got this. Shit, that was close. For boosters, I'll probably go with the small firearm upgrade because the shorty desperately needs at least a single upgrade. Upgrade it before even you upgrade the large firearm. I mean, remember the burst upgrades at 300 and 600, making it one of the cheaper large firearms to upgrade. So I would definitely go with the shorty because it desperately needs it, followed by my burst before I went with armor. And that wraps up the Forrest Gump. Now. We're about to move on and we're going to combine all the things that we've learned over the last four and come up with what I'm calling the all pro. And I'm calling it the all pro because this is probably very close to what most competitive players run. Uh, we're going to use the free revolver because this is a handy trusty firearm. We're going to go with the burst rifle because of its ability to land headshots down people in a single burst basically and then you combine that with multiple headshots from the burst rifle with sharpshooter 3 you're getting more health back allowing you to take on more enemies faster and basically allowing you to hand the damage wobble because when you go up against really competitive players you are going to get shot um, and then 2 will go with the other most popular perk basically which is covert training too so it keep you from being flanked keep you hidden while you're crouch walking so basically you actually have to have that stealth element to protect you now you could go with first aid training level one so you could come out of cover and you could heal yourself faster and a lot of players do that i personally am going to go for reviver one which is the best single point loadout um, it allows you to revive your teammates faster and it makes a significant difference and for one loadout point it's great. And the other single loadout point I would say is probably the second best is Explosion Expert 1 just because it makes your Molotovs and your bombs that much more effective and I feel like personally it definitely improves my game and my effectiveness with those weapons. And that's it. That's the All Pro. And that wraps up our tutorial series. And man, I hope you guys get something out of this. Man, I really hope this was good for some of you. I hope you go out and enjoy it. I hope to see you in the ring 
playing Last of Us Remastered. It's been fun for me because I really like turning people on to new stuff, especially stuff that I love. And I love this game, man. So, um, what's coming next? I probably will play up some remastered matches. I'm looking forward to just going back and just kicking back and just playing with friends and playing with some new folks and chilling. And then September 9th comes Destiny, and I'm definitely stoked about that. And I'll be posting some stuff about it. So, thank you guys for tuning in to this series. This is Lucky signing out. Happy hunting. Peace. I'm set. Watch your ass. Down one uniform. uniform. Take this. your ass.
One less tourist! One down! I'm 
set. Watch your ass.
Good to go. Wait up. Cover me. Coming back no more. 